How do you feel about uh, Bill Bennett not being back in caucus yet? Well, I think there's a discussion coming uh, on Bill, as I understand it. I'm uh, relatively uh, short back in caucus myself, but uh, Bill's been a friend of mine uh, since we were first elected many years ago, and, you know, I'm optimistic that uh, hopefully he'll uh, find a way to come back into caucus. So you think he should be back in caucus then? It'd be nice. I've worked with Bill. I think he works hard for his constituents, uh, stands up for what he believes, and uh, without question, I think he is, has said a couple of times that I'm aware of that there's a few things he said he probably uh, wishes he wouldn't have, but, you know, it's, it's behind us. You can't change yesterday, let alone, you know, a week or a month or... So you don't think there's uh, much future for independent MLAs in the legislature? Do you oh, think? no, I think there's a future. I mean, if that's what the individual, you know, stands for, and that's how they feel they can best represent their constituents, that's what it's about, you know. I think sometimes we focus too much on the MLA or the minister, and we forget sometimes the only reason you're an MLA or a minister is because of the people that elected you and you represent in your riding. You're a vice chair of this new cabinet committee responsible for open government. Any thoughts on that? Uh, you know, very early yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Open government is what it's about. I've, I always kind of am intrigued by the fact that we have to talk about open government. Our government is the people's government. And that's how it works in my mind. So, I mean, obviously there's um, issues you deal with in cabinet that are confidential and you have to keep it that way. But when you're going to make some major shifts in the direction of your province, whether it be in social programs or transportation or um, taxation policy, your first priority has to be engaging the public. In do, that you, do you think this will finally give you? Do you think this will finally give you an opportunity to implement some of those recommendations that uh, the committee you chaired regarding FOI uh, came out with all those years ago? Well, we've implemented a good number of them. I've uh, gone a through a lot the, of them. Not uh, <laughs> a lot of them aren't. Most but, important uh, ones. I've seen. Uh, I'm pretty happy though. I mean, I've watched a lot of committees over my study of politics do their work, make recommendations with none of them being acted on. So I'm pretty proud that we've got a number acted on. Is there more work to do? Most definitely. Thank you.